So we've seen at the Excel Center how you can use mass toys to engage young people in mathematics. And here I have our maths outreach kit. It's a box full of maths toys. So uh, here's our friend the Tippy Top. Uh, hours of fun right there. Uh, we've also got uh, the Rattleback, uh, which is, as always, endless fun. Things like the Miroscope. Uh, one of my favourites, we have these. These are what are called solids of constant width. And so it's an unusual kind of, it's a, it's a rotated, rounded kind of triangle shape. And what's amazing about this is no matter which way you orientate it, it's always exactly the same height. And that means if I put three of them down and put a book on top, so let's say, I don't know, this manual of mathematical magic, which also comes in the kit, uh, it will roll as if there are three spheres underneath there, but in fact they're not. But they roll exactly as if they were balls. That's absolutely, that just blows my mind. This is the Gaussian gun. Uh, so what you do is you take a very small ramp. I have a collection here of uh, ball bearings and some very strong rare earth magnets. If I line these up on there. Magnets. Okay, so I've got uh, the magnets at one end. I've got a series of ball bearings next to it. I'm going to take this ball bearing and I'm going to roll it down the slope. And that happens. Uh, known as the Gaussian gun. Here we go, we'll try it again. Put it on this end, it rolls down. But if you're gonna do this with kids, maybe you should fire it safely into a cup or something. Uh, and uh, the maths and the mechanics and the physics behind this is absolutely brilliant. Basically, uh, as that one ball bearing rolls along, it's suddenly attracted by these very strong magnets. And the last second there, it speeds up incredibly and then knocks off uh, well, it's conservation of momentum, knocks off the end ball bearing. I'll put that down before I uh, danger myself or someone else. Uh, we have a few miscellaneous puzzles that are included in here. Uh, puzzle in a bag, puzzle in a box, puzzle in plastic. Uh, and we also have a packet of giant cards in case you wish to do a uh, mathematical magic trick for someone who is particularly big. Uh, we also have some fold up platonic solids with a little bit of printing out and assembly. You have a platonic solid where if you pull the strings, it folds itself. So there we are, instant tetrahedron. Uh, we've also got a, well let's do the octahedron. We have, an, we have an octahedron. If you pull this, there you go. Octahedron. Uh, the ones I wasn't allowed to do because I, I'm not trusted with these things. I have here the uh, wound up dodecahedron and of course everyone's favorite the icosahedron. Uh, there's also the other one which is known as uh, the most boring of all the platonic solids. Uh, we have a gyroscope. Uh, now this is amazing and it does all the incredible normal counterintuitive gyroscopic things. If you've not had a play with one of these, you absolutely must. Uh, and then like everything else in the box, there is a book which explains the mass behind it. And in fact, it explains the mass to different levels of difficulty depending on who you're talking to. And the great thing specifically about the gyroscope is that no matter who's trying to explain it, no one really understands what's going on. Uh, on top of that, there are other puzzles you can put together. There are some of these really irritating cubes. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but there's the Manual of Mathematical Magic uh, by Peter McCohen and that delightful Matt Parker chap. Uh, and finally, uh, my favorite thing, and I think we'll end on this, we have Euler's Disc. Now this, if you've not seen it, is absolutely incredible. It is, uh, as you would expect, a disc and what you do is you take the disc and you spin it and then all you need to do is wait for it to eventually spin down uh, and again the, the mass behind this is absolutely amazing and, and it's the, one of the most counterintuitive mass toys I have ever seen uh, so uh, all these various things are in the box uh, all of them can you can use to talk to young people about maths all of them will grab their attention and then lead to further conversations about how incredible mathematics is. And so, what we need to do now is wait for Euler's disc to spin down. 
Thanks for watching. Thank you.